it may be easy and tempting to paint Yoritomo as paranoid, ambitious, ruthless and bloodthirsty. But he was born into this violent world. He didn't create it. Yoritomo himself survived the deaths, the violent deaths of his grandfather, father and firstborn son and most of his clan. But in fairness, on securing victory, he set about pacifying the land and building a just post-war regime loyal to the emperor and benevolent to the people. I'm at the top of Mount Genjiyama, the mountain named for the Minamoto clan which overlooks their city of Kamakura and behind me is a statue of their most famous member, Yoritomo. And so Yoritomo, wielding supreme political, military and even tax raising power from one end of Japan to the other, only desired one more thing a title befitting his magnificence. Not the old imperial court titles like Kampaku or Nairan, which Go Shirakawa offered. Yoritomo wanted the title of Shogun. But not just Shogun of the North, a title that his ancestors Yoriyoshi, Yoshia and other Minamoto had had, but Sei Itai Shogun, supreme military commander, leader of the Bakufu, the military government, the Shogunate protector of the emperor, guardian of Japan and upon the death of Go Shirakawa and the accession of the emperor Gotoba, Yoritomo with Masako as his consort got his title and became Shogun. Yoritomo's appointment as Shogun was the pinnacle of the Minamoto clan's achievements. After centuries of striving to preserve and expand Japan's borders, after generations of civil strife where they struggled to preserve imperial prerogative and their own, and after a lifetime for Yoritomo of existential peril, much of which was spent in exile or on the run or locked in deadly political intrigue, peace had finally come. And now Yoritomo could focus on governing Japan from its new capital, Kamakura. But although Yoritomo had desired and finally received this old, storied military title of Shogun, there was nothing old or storied about the military court and government that he created to ensure it would endure. This Shogunate was completely new. It operated in general harmony with the imperial court, but distinctly separate. It would assume its own tax raising powers over every individual and institution in the land. Develop a legal framework to such an extent that people from all over Japan would converge on Kamakura seeking justice and it brooked no military rivals to such a degree that the shogunate would endure here in Kamakura for a century and a half and in other later shoguns capitals for 700 years. And for all subsequent shoguns to have legitimacy, they would need to claim kinship with Yoritomo, Japan's first ruling shogun. In Japanese, the shogunate was called the Bakufu, named after the tent screens 
and behind which samurai warlords would conduct their meetings and plan their military and political strategies away from the eyes of enemy archers and spies as depicted here in the Akira Kurosawa film Ran.